friends. I am so glad that you have come back. And if you're new, my name is Brittany and I'm really glad to have you here. I wish you could have been here in real life on this weekend because I could have used the company and the breakup of the monotony of painting. The, we are tackling the entire um, downstairs main living area. So the entry, the living room, this little hallway, uh, the dining area and the kitchen. And it was one of those projects that I knew I would get to eventually, but I wanted to put it off forever because I knew it was going to take a lot out of me mentally and physically, um, just getting ready to set my mind to actually um, paint, especially a large area like this. is just a lot even to get over that, that mental commitment <laughs> to that task. So um, I, but I did it. I did it. And uh, if you, if you have a project that you really want to get done, but has seemed a little too daunting, maybe this will inspire you. I hope it does. Or if anything, it just keeps you company while you get other stuff done. I, I definitely needed that on this day. It was a, a whole day of just work and a lot of it, I was by myself. So I had my podcast going and I had lots of coffee. But anyway, we uh I wanted to start this a lot earlier. So I'm I'm really crunching on getting this video posted on my regular scheduling um because we were waiting on the sander to come in. We decided to go ahead and buy a an electric sander that attaches to a dry vac so that um we could do the whole wall, not just the spots that are puttied, um, so that it was very smooth uh, and the paint went on uh, evenly, uh, not over the whole wall. Anyway, so we wanted to get that. Plus, when we do our basement, we're planning on doing that ourselves. So we figured this would come in handy, not just for this project, but for that one. So um, we had that and it worked really well. But then I had to spot putty a few places and that sander was really heavy. So we're going in with the hand sander and then we're going to clean up. We're going to get started painting. I, this video probably will be a little bit different. Just, um, you know, we're, we're got, we got one job, one job to do today and that's to paint. Um, so it's just going to be a lot of the same, uh, you know, just, just a little bit more laid back. So probably a little less voiceover and some more, chill laid back song. So, um, I hope, I hope, I hope you got all your stuff ready for the, for whatever you need to get done today. Or if you just want to sit back and watch some satisfying painting, I'm just glad you're here. Asking myself for 
am wiping down all the walls now. You saw me do that in the living room. And so now we're moving on into the hallway. Uh, we have all the sanding done. And so I wanted to make sure that the walls were nice and clean and free of all the dirt and dust. So I'm wiping them down. I started with a wall cleaning attachment that I had. It has a duster head and then a microfiber cloth head. And they both got dirty pretty quickly. So I had to revert to a good old rag and chair to wipe down the walls. Um, and then I removed all the outlet covers and we're going to start edging. So I did, we did settle on agreeable gray for the wall color. I had tried several different creamy whites. I wanted a neutral, uh, down here so that it just went with any kind of decor that I wanted. And, and I didn't have to, uh, match my decor to my wall. I wanted my wall to just be neutral, um, which the tan and the beige is kind of neutral, but it was just so tired. I, I don't know if that makes sense, but the wall color was really tired. And with the floor being beige and, or, you know, beigey tan, the floors, the counters even have tan in them, the cabinets, the walls, everything was just so beige and it felt so dark, especially there's not uh, that much light in this hallway. And so it just, it felt so dark and dated and old. And I just wanted something fresh. Um, and there was also just a lot of spots it needed to be painted regardless. And so, uh, again, I wanted like a creamy white, but everything that I tried just pulled so much yellow. I don't know if it was because of course we have a tan on the wall. That's why it was pulling yellow. But regardless, we tried the agreeable gray. I figured if it was that big in 2020 and probably still now that there, it was worth at least testing it out. And my husband really liked it. It's so nice to have him just kind of put a conclusion to it. I could go back and forth all day and I do. And so to have him just be like, Oh yeah, I like that. Um, is helpful. So we went with it and I bought the big five gallon bucket. So there was no going back. So anyway, we're going to, uh, start the edging as soon as we get done here. And I do, uh, do two coats of edging before I start rolling. Just, uh, I needed to get that done. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't want to edge and then paint the walls and then have to do the second edging. I just wanted to have that done because edging is probably my least favorite, but anyway, we're about to get started. <music> Gently to the silent trees I won't forget You know the secrets of the late night breeze It's all pretend Don't you worry
So as I am edging and doing this, I am rewatching Gilmore Girls. I have that playing in the background, and it's just one of those go-to rewatchable series. Anytime I need just like a comfort series or something to play when I don't need 100% attention on the show, I love Gilmore Girls or Friends. Unfortunately, with Friends not being on Netflix anymore, that makes it a little difficult. So now I have to go hunt for it. But uh, Gilmore Girls uh, has been my go-to on Netflix recently whenever I need that little nostalgic um, comfort show to rewatch. We don't watch a lot of new series. Uh, Me and my husband are more into... Uh, docu-series that are out on Discovery Plus or something like that. And uh, we'll we'll watch those, but right now I, we're re-watching House. So we we like the we like the tried and true and very rarely start a new series. So uh, let me know if you have a really good series that you like. Um, but also what do you what do you go to when you just want something familiar on? So whenever I have to unplug the TV to start rolling, I put on a podcast and that's normally what I do when I'm driving or uh, cleaning. I'll put on a podcast and I'm really into true crime. So I have a few different cha- like uh, true crime podcasts that I go between. Um, but I've consider doing audible. I love to read and I normally like to read like mysteries or something like that. But um, I find myself not reaching for a book whenever I have downtime, uh, but I'm always listening to podcasts. So let me know if you have Audible and if you'd recommend it. And if so, what are some of your favorite books, um, highly recommended books that you would tell me about if I were to get it? Because I, I am... I'm strongly considering it. I hope that I would actually use it and not just revert to my podcast. But let me know what you think and what are your favorite go-to podcasts, uh, movies, series. I love those kind of things. I'm I'm more so like the rewatch, reread type of person than find something new. So let me know if that's you too.
roll in, roll in, and roll in, roll in, and roll in, roll in. <laughs> Just kidding. But it did feel like I was at this all day. I was at it all day, but it felt way longer than it was. Uh, that's why I said at the beginning, I could have used some company, something to break up just all the monotony. I hit so many, so many points, like just st I wanted to stop so many times and just leave it for another time, another day. I, I kept rationalizing with myself like, oh, I'll do the second coat another time. I don't need to do the second coat today. I've done enough today. Or this little hallway going towards the powder room. I don't need to do that today. But I had to keep just, <laughs> I had to be stern with myself. And sorry if you hear my kiddo in the background, he's playing in the hallway. But uh I had to be stern with myself and just, I had to, I had to make myself do it because it was just going, it, you know, you're, I was rewarding my future self. <laughs> so, uh, but it was definitely a challenge. And so I, I'm moving on. I've done the living room first coat and I need to do the hallway. And then this little area by the powder room, this is like our, uh, this is like our dump zone. We don't have a cluttered entry table, but we have this little thing that came with the house, uh, this little counter. And so this is where we put our keys and our mail and the diaper bag and purses. So uh, I needed to get this area done. And uh, that's it for this day. I do a second coat this day. I just don't record it because you can't really tell. But I do that. My mom came into town this night. And so I didn't want to uh, she was only here for a day. So that Saturday I spent with her. Uh, and then Sunday we pick right back up with painting and finishing the kitchen. Um, so I needed the little reprieve, but it was hard to get back into it. Saturday we do hang the TV. So you'll see that um, just a little clip of it. We hang it a little higher than probably it was best, but we'll just use a little bit of a uh, taller decor right there. And that was really the catalyst for starting this project at this point, because I was planning on doing this later down the road. But I love to decorate for fall and Christmas, and I don't have a lot of surface area to decorate uh, in this house right now. And so I, I wanted to use that TV stand to decorate a little bit. And so it was all just uh, from that.
And now it's Sunday and we've moved on to the kitchen. It was really hard, like I said, to build momentum to uh, start this day and, and finish this out, but it needed to be done. So we are getting it done. I, As I got up here, though, I, I noticed that the tops of the cabinets were really, really filthy and needed to be cleaned. And I actually anticipated this. I was just making excuses to not... Uh, add this to the list of things I needed to do as part of this process. But of course, as I got up here, I noticed that it, I had to do it. So, um, and the rag and paper towels were definitely not doing the job. Uh, it's, it's, you know, I'm sure you've might have run across this unless you're really, really good at keeping up with these hidden uh, tasks. But it was just like a cakey, dusty mess, be I'm sure because of the, um, I don't know, condensation and the grease from the stove coming up from the, or the, yeah, the stove coming up from the microwave, but um, it was quite bad. So uh, I ended up needing to get a razor blade, which uh, was a, was a, a real essential tool in this, in getting this done. So definitely recommend if you have to clean the top of your cabinets, uh, get a razor blade because it came in handy. But as you see here, so I'm showing you an up close. Um, I, it, oh, so gross, but uh, it's done and everything is not only like physically clean, it looks clean with the new paint. So we're going to finish this off, finish the edging and then do two coats of paint in here and then we'll be done. And it feels so airy now, so clean and just ready to go for all the decorating and all the memories that we're going to do in this space. I'm already picturing the, the artwork and the curtains and the family photos and just the, the, the Christmas tree and the pumpkins. So I'm really excited and uh, glad that this is done and accomplished. And now we can get to the fun stuff, um, which was really the, the driving point to all of this, right?
you guys again for coming to hang out with me today. I am, I swear, I really do mean it. I wish you could have come here and spent time with me today. I just really enjoy making new friends and, um, I like, I like the feeling of being a part of a community. Um, I find that in my church, but also just with a really good group of friends. And so that's what I see this as an opportunity for. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up down below. Uh, hit the like button. And if you like this kind of content, subscribe to my channel. Um, I just because of where we're at right now in this new house. We have lots of projects like this where we're doing home projects and renovations and makeovers. And so we'll have lots of that sprinkled in right now, um, but we'll do um, cleaning content and decorating and just home and lifestyle. So all of the good stuff, just like having a friend. And I don't like listening to myself talk, so I want to hear from you. Um, but yeah, like, subscribe, leave me a comment down below. Let me know who you are. I'm glad that you're here and I can't wait to see you next time and we can get a little bit more done together. Bye friends. Just fall